Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with American French Onion Soup. That's right, we're going to take classic French onion soup and give it a few American twists, which are going to make it a little easier, but still incredibly delicious. So here we go. All right, to begin, we're going to take six yellow onions, large yellow onions. And by the way, will this work with other kinds of onions? No. We're going to peel those. We're going to cut those in half. And then the first American twist. So the soup is called French onion, not because it's French, but because of the cutting technique. When you use one of these chef knives, also known as French knives, and you make thin strips out of whatever, they refer to that as French. French fries, French onions. All right, so instead of doing the French cut on the onions, we're going to simply cut them across like that, and then go the other way four or five cuts into basically large rectangles. All right, one more time. You're going to cut across right there at the widest point, turn the knife, and give it four or five slices that way, and that's it. All right, once your onions are cut, we're gonna go over to the stove and you're gonna place your largest oven safe skillet on medium heat. We're gonna melt a big chunk of butter and we're gonna add our onions in with a big pinch of salt. We're gonna stir that and we just wanna coat all those onions in the butter because the second American twist here, we're not gonna cook this on top of the stove. We're gonna brown this in the oven. Now, as you probably know, we Americans are known for being very brave, incredible lovers, and kind of lazy. So instead of standing at the stove, stirring and browning these for an hour, we're gonna do these mostly in the oven. So throw it in a hot oven, like 425, and every once in a while, pull it out, give it a stir, and put it back in. And you wanna keep doing that until the onions are very well caramelized. So mine probably went about an hour. I didn't really time it, I just kept peeking. They're gonna be really hard to overcook. You'd have to actually forget about them. So don't do that. Set your timer, check them every 15, 20 minutes, give them a little stir. And eventually you're gonna have something that looks like that. Very soft, very sweet, very caramelized onions, okay? At that point, I'm gonna put them on the stove. I'm gonna turn the flame on under the pan on medium heat, and I'm gonna finish the caramelization. And what I'm looking for is the onions to start to brown to the bottom in a very sort of dark brown fond, which is what those brown bits are called. And then we're gonna deglaze. So here I'm adding some sherry wine, very delicious, just a little splash and an even smaller splash of sherry vinegar. Now, if you've never used vinegar in the soup before, be careful. I want you to read the blog post regarding the vinegar before you make this soup. And of course, we're doing this to deglaze the pan. So you're gonna to wanna to scrape the bottom of your pan with a wooden spoon. You're gonna see all those beautiful brown bits come up. I even want you to get the sides. All right, don't waste any of that caramelization. So as soon as the pan's deglazed and the liquid is pretty much evaporated out of there, we're gonna turn off the heat, we're gonna transfer everything into a soup pot. I'm also gonna to toss in a few sprigs of thyme, and then we're gonna add our stock. I like half beef, half chicken, and I am using a packaged organic brand of broth for both. All right, very high quality, very delicious, but when you use packaged broths and stocks, they are not clear. So if you go find our video recipes for homemade beef broth and chicken stock and use that, this will look much better, much clearer. Okay. All right, once your beef and chicken broth is in there, you're gonna put the heat on high, you're gonna bring it to a boil. Of course, you're gonna skim any foam or fat that comes to the top. Once it comes up to temperature, I want you to reduce it down to low and just let it simmer for about an hour. Longer's better, all right? But if you do simmer it longer, you're gonna to wanna to put a splash of stock or water in there. You don't want it to reduce too far and get too thick. So you wanna keep your liquid level right about there. And really, that's it. Once you've simmered it for at least an hour, and you've tasted it, and you've adjusted the seasoning with salt and black pepper, very important. Just put that on low and reserve till needed. All right, so that's looking good. For final assembly, we're gonna need some buttery, crispy croutons. So I'm gonna take some French bread, I'm gonna paint it with melted butter generously. I'm gonna pop that in a broiler or a hot oven until crispy. You know how to do that, right? All right, don't burn them. Once your croutons are done, you're gonna take some heat-proof bowls or crocks. Very important, this is gonna go under a hot broiler, so they have to be heat-proof. You're gonna fill them up, you're gonna to top with your crouton, and for the last American twist, we're not gonna use the traditional Gruyere. We're gonna use a blend of American cheeses from both coasts. All right, I have some extra sharp cheddar from New York, and I have some very mellow, creamy, delicious Monterey Jack. So I have half of each, you wanna make sure your crouton is completely covered so it doesn't burn. And yes, I did sprinkle a little cayenne. I couldn't help myself. Pop that under a hot broiler. You wanna be about six inches away from the heat and broil that for about five or six minutes until you have that. 
And if that doesn't look amazingly delicious, I'm going to have to question your ability to identify incredibly delicious things with your eyes because this looks amazing. And just to verify, I'm going to taste this. Just super rich broth, sweet, yet still has a very oniony flavor. I actually think the way we cut the onions versus the thin slices does taste different. Okay, onions are kind of funny. Not funny haha, funny like, hmm. So there's something about that cut that gives it a little bit of a stronger onion flavor, but you still get that sweet caramelized base. And of course, buttery crouton with melted cheddar and Monterey Jack on it. How's that not going to be good? It isn't. It's going to be awesome. So anyway, there you go. American French onion soup. Basically, it's French onion soup with a few little Americanized twists. So I hope you give that a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more information as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.